So I wanted to talk about a term, a word, a phrase, two words, and a phrase that um, have been really powerful for me uh, recently, and that I've come to see in a completely different way than I used to see uh, this phrase. And the phrase is wholesome living. Wholesome living. Wholesome. So, I had this sense of the word wholesome when I was um, growing up as living a certain kind of lifestyle, living a certain kind of way where you, you remove the parts of yourself that were bad or negative or were sinful and just stuck with what was, was wholesome and good and clean and um, godly. So that was my first um, understanding of that word, wholesome, to be wholesome, to live wholesome. And uh, I didn't like it at all. Uh, it didn't, didn't resonate, didn't feel right at all. And so I um, sort of rebelled against it. And um, there was this sense that um, wanting to embrace and integrate all the different parts of myself. And um, that, 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 that this idea of wholesome was, was cutting off, was, was um, cutting off these really vital parts of myself, these really alive, vital, sincere, genuine parts of myself. A lot of it was um, around sexual energy, that that was seen as not wholesome. Um, and then there was just a lot of other aspects. Um, there was a certain way that you're supposed to conduct yourself in a certain way you're supposed to behave, um, following a certain set of laws or guidelines or commandments, dictums, and if you don't follow them, then you're not living wholesome. So it's very mind-based. You know, you, you, you have a you have a conception, you have a perception, you have a, a, a an ideology, a theology, um, a set of ideas in your mind that have been put there usually by someone else, but then they become internalized. So they're 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 um, codified, and then you are attempting to follow them, attempting to to to, strip, to be adhere to them and, and be strict with them, and, and follow exactly the way it's set up in your mind. Um, and life is fresh, and life is happening, and life is moving. So inevitably, you're not able to do that. So then you don't feel wholesome. So then you feel guilty and you feel blame and shame and, and this is a perpetual cycle that perpetuates itself. And this is what we call duality. So duality is the sense of two, at least two. Okay, so duality means there's, there's me and there's the other and the other is, can be a concept in the mind and I'm trying to conform to the concept in the mind from the past and project it into the future. And this creates a disconnection. In reality, this creates a disconnection from source, from spirit, from God. It creates a disconnection from myself, from my own spirit, from my own soul. It creates a disconnection from others because I'm not present with people in the moment. And that's the most important thing it, keeps, it creates a disconnection from is this moment. There's not full presence in this moment. So, I really hated this word, and I was disgusted by it, and uh, repelled by it, and never used it, until I started to recently, in the last few months, it started to hit me in a, in a, in a new way, in, in, a, in a different way, and I saw whole, space, some, whole, some. 
and I realized, yes, this is exactly what it's all about. Living with your whole self in the moment, in this moment. This moment being the only moment that there is, is this one. So, wholesome really means, to me, bringing my whole self undivided, unrestrained, without resistance to this moment right now. My whole my whole heart, all the cells in my body, my whole physical self, all the faculties in my mind, with the ground, the foundation in spirit and presence. So living a wholesome life means I'm fully, wholly, and completely available to the person who's in front of me, you, right now. I'm completely, fully, wholly available to my body, the needs it has to care for it, to have it functioning, healthy. I'm completely available to my family, my friends in the moment, my community. I'm completely available to the mission, my purpose, my meaning, my sense of meaning of why I'm here and created in this planet. I'm completely wholly available to be inspired in this moment by whatever is arising in this moment. It also means I'm completely, wholly available to feel sadness in this moment, to feel pain in this moment. It means I'm completely, wholly available to feel whatever is arising in this moment, wholly, and be able to let it go so I can feel the next moment, wholly be able to let it go and feel the next moment holy and be able to let it go.